Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a really really soft, natural, really pretty kind of look that's really easy to do and really easy to wear. So this would be great for like if you're going on a date or if you know you're going to have your photo taken or you just want to look really natural but really polished and just really pretty. So keep watching if you want to see the tutorial. So I'm going to start off with my foundation and today I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and the colour is number one. And I'm just using a MAC 190 brush to put that on with. The Double Wear Light is great for this kind of a look because it's quite sheer. It's very similar to MAC Face and Body, I find, but just maybe a little bit more covered. Um, so it's quite sheer, so you'll see your skin through it, so you won't look like you're wearing a mask or like you're trying to completely cover yourself up. But it's really, really long wearing, so it won't melt or rub off. It's completely transfer resistant. It'll last the whole day through. And I'm starting at the centre of my face and working my way out. So I'm really not putting that much that much foundation on the outside of my face at all. I'm just kind of blending it out as I get to the edge. Next I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes and around my nose and anywhere I need that extra little bit of coverage. And today I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. Now I'm just going to set that with a bit of powder. I've got my Mineralized Skin Finish um, in light and I'm using a Sigma brush. I'm going to have to find out the name of this and I'll put it on the, tech, on the, um, the video. I'm using such a big brush because I just want a very light layer of powder, just enough to set the foundation and just take away any excess shine, but not really to look powdery. I'm going to use a little bit of the YSL Touche Clat. Now this is total optional extra, um, but I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes to add a little bit of a highlight. The Touche Clat isn't really a concealer, there's not a huge amount of coverage in it, it is a highlighter pen, so by itself I find it doesn't have enough coverage to actually cover my dark circles, but used on top, a tiny bit on top of concealer, it does give a gorgeous highlighted look. And I know it's kind of controversial to use, especially if you know you're going to have your photo taken. I know a lot of people um, would avoid using this because it's so light reflective, but I have to say I, I've used this in the past number of shoots I've done and it hasn't really done that um, kind of reverse panda like white look under the eye for me at all i'm just using the bare minimum and really really blending it in so it's it's just giving a nice subtle highlighted effect it's not like a stripe if you know what i mean you'll see now so i'm just using the actual brush it comes with and rather than put it right up under my eye i'm just putting it in this kind of c shape where it's darkest and a little bit on this outside corner here and I'm just going to bring that down a tiny bit as well. And the same on the other side. And now I'm just going to take my Sigma E40 and just kind of stipple it. Next, I'm going to take Pearl Cream Colour Base by MAC. So this is one of their cream highlighters. Um, and I'm going to use an Inglot uh, 4SS brush to put that on with. These are gorgeous highlighters um, if you don't want it to be very obvious. There's no glitter really or shimmer going through them. It's just a slightly frosted cream. And Pearl obviously is... A th no, Luna is the lightest. Pearl will suit a very light skin tone as well though. But if you're a little bit darker than me, then you should go for Hush. It's just that little bit um, darker so it won't look so bright on your skin. I'll just put a little bit right down the centre of my nose as well. And for blush, I'm going to use Dainty by MAC. Dainty is a lovely warm pink. It, it suits everyone. It's a gorgeous colour. I'm 
And I'm going to put a teeny little bit of that above my brow as well. And a little bit on my chin. Not really so much that you can see it, but it'll just give that tiny bit of rosiness that will tie in um, the whole look, really. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of primer to my eyes, and I'm using one of the MAC paints today in the colour Untitled. Um, so Untitled is kind of a cool... Let me see if I can swatch it for you. It's kind of a cool beigey, pinky beigey kind of colour, and I'm going to use my Sigma E40 brush to put that on with. Now I'm going to run a bit of colour through my brows and I'm going to use Omega eyeshadow by MAC and a 266 angle brush. Next, I'm going to take one of the MAC Cole pencils, and this one is Teddy. So Teddy is a brown that has kind of bronzy flecks going through it. It's a gorgeous colour, really, really great basic thing to have in your makeup set. Um, the Cole pencils are so soft that you can use them as eyeshadows if you smudge them in as well. So really, really versatile product. Now ideally for this look, I, I would have loved to use Prunella, which is like a black and plum. I would have loved to use a plummy, grapey kind of colour, but unfortunately I don't have it. So I'm making do by using this. But any kind of off black colour will do, just vary it depending on what will suit your own eye colour. So like maybe navy or like this bronze or plum, a dark eyeliner but not as dark as black. Even grey would work. I'm, I'm going to line my upper waterline and I hate doing this, so bear with me. I actually don't care if I get some onto my lid because I'm going to line that anyway, so. So I have the tight lining done and now I'm just going to get right into the roots of the lashes. And then the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to take a 217 brush and just smudge it in a little bit. I'll just use my finger on that inside corner. See how easy they smudge, they're so soft. I'm going to take the Sigma E40 brush that I was using for my concealer and just sweep that underneath just to tidy up any little bits of liner that got under there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of MAC All That Glitters eyeshadow and my 217 brush again and basically put that all over the lid. And when all that glitter is, goes on top of that teddy eyeliner, it just turns into this gorgeous, like, taupey brown. You can really see the frost coming off of it. And now, just using the very, very tip of my 217, I'm going to just bring it right around that inside corner. Just blend it back a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Quarry eyeshadow. Quarry is quite a cool, slightly purpley grey. 
And I'm going to use a 222 brush to put that on with. A 222 brush is slightly different to a 217. It's longer. And although it doesn't really look it, it does apply the colour in a more focused way. So it, it, it would do more of a, a defined crease than a 217 would. It's um, just a little bit more... It is a little bit more tapered. So I'm using that just in my crease and on the outside corner. And just blending a tiny bit up onto my brow bone just to soften out that colour. And now I'm going to take Quarry Eyeshadow again and the Sigma brush, I think it's an E4C, E60, I, I will have that in the video. Now I'm going to take a little bit of vanilla eyeshadow and the same brush I just used to put quarry on under my eyes and just apply that to my brow bone. I'm also going to take a little bit of that and just press it right into that area there. Again, this will work on me because I'm so fair. If you're a little bit darker, you'd want to go for a slightly darker shade. And now I'm just going to take a tiny bit of cranberry eyeshadow and my 222 brush again. And I mean like a tiny bit. I'm really not putting that much on the brush at all. And I'm just going to knock off the excess onto my hand. And just go over the top of where Quarry was. And then pull it up onto the brow bone a little bit. So it just gives a very subtle hint of like coppery redness and just warms up the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and you guessed it, I'm using my Hot and Naughty Lash. Using the lighter side, the pink side. So that's the eyes finished. I applied two coats of mascara there. I did want to have a good bit of mascara on, but not too much, not like clumpy mascara, but enough to just really open up the eyes and make them look bright and wide-eyed. Now I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip liner and I'm gonna use Dervish by MAC. And Dervish is probably the, I can remove focus. Dervish is probably the lightest kind of neutral pink color. Um, Subculture would probably be the lightest um, colour that they do but so culture definitely has a brown undertone in it whereas Dervish has more of a pink undertone so this is nice if you want a neutral pink lip and then over the top of that I'm going to use syrup lipstick and syrup is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous neutral pink. Um, this is great if you're a makeup artist and you do a lot of bridal work. This is like your go-to bridal lipstick. Really, really handy one to have. And it is a luster texture, so it's kind of glossy and it's quite sheer. So it's perfect for this kind of a thing where you want to have a little bit of shine, but you don't want to be like sticky, glossy, gloopy. Like who wants to kiss lips that are like that? So this is a good compromise between lipstick and gloss. And just to finish, I'm going to apply just a hint more blush. So I'll go back to my dainty blush and my 116 brush by MAC and just in the very apple. And 
and that's the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it and I will definitely be wearing this look again myself. Um, I'm going to the cinema this evening with my boyfriend to see the artist because today is Valentine's Day and I will definitely be wearing this makeup out. If you are doing anything nice for Valentine's Day or did do something nice for Valentine's Day, I'd love to know. So please leave it in the comments down below. I'm sure everybody else would love to know what people were up to on Valentine's Day or if you boycotted the whole day and just sat inside and watched horror movies or I don't know, whatever as you did I'd love to know and if you did enjoy this please show your support by subscribing it's very easy just click the button and you'll never miss any of my videos again and if you want to see more photos and the full list of products that I used please check out my website my new website um, the URL will be in the description box down below and yeah I think that's it so I hope you liked it thanks for watching guys happy Valentine's Day